Hey, oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, Shug, welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Pisces reading for the second half of September. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Pisces. Now, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. I do advise that you check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will. Okay, it's for Pisces for the second half of September. I'm using my Twin Flame deck. Um, doesn't mean you're dealing with the Twin Flame. It just, I like the messages that are in this deck. Okay, <laughs> And I think that they um, apply to more than just Twin Flame. Okay, so for Pisces. One more shot. For Pisces. Okay, so your overall energy is receive, okay? It says open-minded, abundant, ready. It's time to receive with self-worth right behind that. Value, self-esteem, confidence. Be empowered by valuing yourself. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. All right, so it looks like... Mm-hmm. Okay, so it looks like you made a decision at some point um, and started to like maybe like focus on yourself. You could have like pulled back from people, um, a person, whatever the case, to like v focus on yourself, to build your values, your self-esteem, your confidence in whatever situation. It could be just your personal confidence, right? But with receive being your overall energy, it feels like something's coming in for you, okay? And this is like a time for you to receive, either from the universe or from a person. So let's see. Your energy in the second half of September is cycles. Momentum, force, life cycles. Stay grounded in and now, okay? So things changing life cycles i feel like you're going into a new stage in your life right now okay so spirit is kind of preparing you like be open to receiving okay let's see what happened in the recent past appreciate it says your twin appreciates you see the blessing practice appreciation so maybe we're going to clarify and see but um maybe you weren't appreciated Maybe you didn't feel appreciated, okay? Let's see. What are you thinking about? Sacred space, altar, prayer, candles, commune with your own divinity. Yeah. Okay. I feel like you are staying grounded or trying to. Um, and just like when we looked here, as far as self-worth and crossroads was behind that, it's kind of saying like you might have pulled your energy back and during that time you are going into your sacred space why sacred journey <laughs> yeah understand who you are truly and this journey brings self-discovery yeah you're you're taking time to like re to like examine your life examine your purpose like to like figure out where you're going and what you're doing great What's coming up in the immediate future? Stuck. <laughs> Block. Third party. Silence. Barrier. Shift your focus to clear the energy. Okay. All right. And we're going to clarify and see. Maybe a situation that was stuck is becoming unstuck. Because there's no unstuck in there. Okay. <laughs> but we can clarify and see exactly why. Your advice is journal. Right process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey, okay? You are definitely on um, almost like a journey of like self-discovery, awakening, understanding the purpose of things, why things occur in your life, so on and so forth. This is good stuff. So let's clarify and see. Okay, so we have receive here as your overall energy. Okay. All right, sir. 
We're gonna clarify and see why is received here as the overall energy for Pisces in the second half of September. All right. This is kind of the hierophant. It's saw it three times. Okay. <laughs> like, let's see. Why is received here as the overall energy for Pisces? Please make it clear. Receive. I haven't used this deck in a while. Forgot how much I love it. I do. I like how it, yeah, look at that. It just flow so easily. Yeah. You have the Muse of Voices, okay? Which is the King of Swords, all right? With the Two of Pentacles. So this is like, you could be done for air sign, all right? That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is someone like contemplating, right? They're like going back and forth with their decision making, okay? Juggling, okay? Um, we have the Queen of Wands here and the High Priestess. Okay, someone could be juggling like their, you know, like their own confidence, like, you know, juggling the idea of something because of their own confidence, um, but being intuitively guided or, you know, but this could be you, okay? Receive. Why is receive here for Pisces? Okay. Receive. Why is receive here? Okay, so someone's going back and forth with the idea of something. Okay. Why is receive here for Pisces, second half of September? Yeah, okay. So someone might want to talk to you, okay, or have a conversation. Um, yeah. This could be someone who was like juggling the idea of maybe a connection with you or maybe juggling the idea of something with you and someone else or whatever the case may be. But with the four of voices and the four of emotions here, this is someone that is not satisfied with their current circumstance, okay? With the four of emotions is the four of cups. And they're, not, and they're like either healing from their dissatisfaction. I don't see that. As like, I see it as like a break. They're not happy with this whole break from you, okay? The four voices, the four swords, it's like taking a break. They're not happy with this break with you, okay? Um, so whatever break you could have, you know, pulled your energy back like we talked about, to take a break, to reevaluate yourself, do some things or whatever. Maybe because someone was indecisive, right? But with the awakening card here and the five of pentacles, someone's like, seeing things from a new perspective okay like definitely awakening and they don't want to be alone okay so they definitely feel alone okay missing you all right and we have the page of inspiration here and the, 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 the evil card the devil card all right um you could be dealing for capricorn here you have the two of voices there's another card of indecisiveness someone just wasn't was very indecisive just couldn't make a decision juggling an idea of the thought okay you could have pulled your energy back, focus on your own self-worth, and this person's missing you, okay? So, um, yeah, it's heavy on them, okay? They have a lot of emotion, and it's very heavy. Um, they're holding it in, and they want to communicate. This page of inspiration, page of wands, okay? So, Spirit is saying receive, okay? Receive whatever, you know, communication this person's giving you. Receive, um gestures maybe okay because you know your self-worth okay spirit is preparing you okay we have cycles here as your energy here in the second half of september all right new cycle it means your life is changing okay doesn't have to change completely but whatever cycle you're in currently is changing why is cycles here for pisces in the second half of september all right Maybe this person rejected you and they want to heal the situation. Okay, they understand now and they've awakened to a situation. Why is cycles here for Pisces in the second half of September? Okay. 
So we have the moon card, Cancerian energy, all right? Um, it's like, it says momentum force cycles, momentum force life cycles, stay grounded in and now. I feel like someone with the moon card, that is like illusions. Like, you know, some someone like just imagining and thinking or feeling like something's going to be a certain way. Okay, when you, with the moon energy, it is an illusion. It is, you know, perceiving something to be one way when it really may not be, right? It's clouded judgment. It is foggy, like, yeah, clouded judgment. And so with the three of swords also coming out with that, it's like, I feel like someone had a flawed, like, just a, a flawed thought process, okay? Or feeling as if they, they would be hurt in this situation, okay? But with the cycles card being here, it seems like this is changing, right? Someone is seeing things from a new perspective here, right? We have temperance here as well, okay? We have the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Yeah. And so if someone's been like waiting, like constantly reflecting, holding back, that's, you know, that's done, okay? Because the death energy was right there as well. Like, they're done with doing that, okay? Whatever illusions they had, like, oh, this, you know, you're going to hurt me or, you know, this is going to end up in some type of heartbreak. There, with this temperance energy, the illusion is gone, okay? It kind of just sizzles out that fire that could have been, like, you know, in their head. Okay, we have appreciate here in the recent past. Um, let's clarify that card. Why is appreciate here in the recent past for Pisces? It says your twin appreciates you. See the blessings. Practice appreciation. Why is appreciate here for Pisces in the recent past? Why is appreciate here? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so with the page of voices here, this is the page of swords. This is like, this is the spine card. Okay. But it's also the card of realization, like learning something, figuring something out. Okay. She's really focusing on her glasses in this picture. So I'm kind of seeing like with the three of pentacles coming out as well. It's like, I feel like someone was watching you in a recent past. Okay. Even though you might not have been communicating with them. I feel like someone was really examining you. Okay. And they started to appreciate like your work. Appreciate your drive maybe your discipline okay because with the ace of emotions on the bottom and the seven of swords it's like now this person is ready to like start have a new beginning with you it's like whatever illusion that they had is clear because they're starting to see you differently they're seeing you as someone they could build with okay i feel like in a recent past someone started to appreciate you more okay yeah. Yeah. We have sacred space here is what you're thinking about. It says altar, prayer, candles, commune with your own divinity, right? Why is sacred space what Pisces is thinking about here in the second half of September? Okay. So you're just staying focused, staying grounded, okay? Focusing on your relationship with spirit. Mm-hmm. The reason why is with this devil energy... Okay, it represents Capricorn, but it also represents toxic thoughts, toxic energy, toxic, um, and when I say toxic, it just means bad, okay? So it's just bad thoughts, bad energy, negative emotions, right? Being conflicted. Here we got the two of swords here and the ace of cups, right? So the two of swords is indecisiveness. Spirit is guiding you right now in the second half of September, your thought process is in sacred space. Stay connected with spirit. Stay connected with the divine because you can allow negative thoughts to cloud you, okay, and make you indecisive about this new beginning. But spirit is saying, overall, 
be open to receiving. You hear what I'm saying? Listen. 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 <laughs> With the food card. Okay? Like, like spirits, like, don't. Don't let your mind, you know, get clouded with negative thoughts and stuff like that, okay? Stay connected to spirit. If you were meditating and get yourself together, whatever you were doing in the recent past, maintain that, okay? Because don't allow your thoughts to cloud your decision-making. Make you indecisive. Like, I don't know if I should do this. Take a leap of faith. Spirit said it, okay? <laughs> yeah, with the queen of emotions on the bottom, like... The queen of emotions is you. Okay, like it is. Okay, take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. I'm just saying. You got sacred journey here as the why, right? It says understand who you truly are. Okay. This journey brings self-discovery. Why is sacred journey here for Pisces in the second half of September? You better understand who you are. You got this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sacred Journey for Pisces in the second half of September. There's a new cycle. Okay, things are different. It's not going to be the same. Sacred Journey. The Magician. I told you. I told you. You manifested it. Okay? When you went into your sacred space and you asked, you know, your divine, your God, your higher power, whoever you acknowledge for change, it's happening. Ten of Cups is here, okay? And then we got the Muse of Inspiration. That is the King of Wands. Could be doing for Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but that is the King of Action, okay? This is movement that's happening here. Why is Sacred Journey here? So you might be like, I don't know. I don't know. Spirit's so like, mm-mm. Tempers, listen, come out of them thought, that negative thought process, okay? Because what's happening here is something that you manifested. It's going to go great. Listen, six of wands. Do you see? Okay. Yeah, with the hermit. Okay. And the muse of emotion, which is now the king of. We just saw a pill. Okay. I'm just saying. This will be, this is something you manifested and it's going to be successful. Okay. This is going to be successful. So understand that this is a whole new cycle that you're going into. All right. Be open to receiving. Okay. We have here in the immediate future stuck. So let's see. It says block, third party, silence, barrier. Shift your focus to clear your energy. Why is stuck here as the energy for the immediate future for Pisces? Why is stuck here for Pisces in the second half of September? Shift your focus to clear your energy. Why is stuck here? The Emperor, okay, with the Ace of Materials, okay. The Emperor with the Ace of Materials, Aries energy. Yeah, this, the Emperor is about taking charge with the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups, okay. So this new beginning may cause some conflict. This new beginning may cause some disappointments. But the emperor energy, you got to take control. Do not allow that to keep you stuck. You understand? All right. We have stuck here in the immediate future. Why is this card here for Pisces? Second half of September. Why is stuck here for Pisces in the second half of September? This is a solid new beginning that's ahead of you, okay? Do not allow people, interference, uh, disappointments, people's emotions to impact your decision-making. Don't, okay? Don't allow it to keep you stuck. Why stuck here for Pisces in the second half of September?
Okay. All right, so I'm not sure who the stuck energy represents. You apply how it fits, okay? But we have the Muse of Materials, okay? This is the King of Pentacles. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Now, with this energy being here, this is somebody that is um, generally, like, in charge of things. This is the breadwinner, responsible for everybody, responding. Like, so, I feel like this person is heavy, is burdened down, okay? Ten of Wands. Whoever is representing this energy, this person, this is a lot on them. They have a lot on them. They burden down, right? Burden down. It could be burdened with emotion, burdened with responsibility, burdened with you know, regret, whatever. They got a lot of stuff on them. And with this high priestess energy, this is someone that is using their intuition to make this decision, okay? They have manned up or they are manning up, okay? It doesn't mean that it's a, a guy, it's just that energy, okay? With that emperor energy, you are taking control of your life, okay? This person's taking control of their life and they're making this decision. Regardless of the conflict or the, the emotions, a disappointment behind it, okay? Because... This person is burning down and they're using their intuition, all right? With this page of wands, this communication that's coming in, all right? It's exciting communication. It's going to make you happy. You can be given a communication or someone giving it to you. But it's taking a lot. With this strength card, Leo energy. It is taking this person a lot to, to do it. You understand? <laughs> a lot okay so we had the queen of wands and the death energy and the knight of pentacles they might have had to end something with someone that's why it was taking so long they might have you know had like a, a blow to their own personal confidence you know it was why it was you know stagnating taking so long but just know that it's taking this person a lot so come forth don't allow it to keep you stuck okay your advice is journal, write, process, contemplate, understand your sacred journey. Why is journal here for Pisces as the advice spirit? Please make it clear. Yeah, the will of fortune and the eight of voices. So this, the will of fortune is about change. Okay, it's a part of those cycles where you're going from one cycle to a new cycle in life, right? This is a time where you like, you know, change careers all of a sudden or, you know, things like, you know, you go from living in Texas all your life to now living in New York. It's a total different environment, or, you know, whatever. So it's a complete different cycle. You go from being married to being single, or you go, go from being, um, you know, a single woman to being like a mom of two kids that you, you know, just acquire because you're in a new relationship. Your life, whatever, changes completely, right? This might be a lot for you to process, Right? But with the will of fortune being here, this is a change that is meant to push you forward, okay? Understand your sacred journey. If you're not quite sure exactly where your life is going and why things are occurring in your life, Spirit is saying, don't stay stuck, okay? Connect with your higher power, okay? Understand your sacred journey, journal, write it down, get your journal, uh, uh, a diary, I like to do my stuff electronically. I just talk into it. So you might have like electronic, you know, journal or whatever. Because with the eight of voices here and the queen of emotion, that's you, Pisces. Okay. This is saying that this can keep you stuck. Okay. Keep you stuck where you feel like you're not sure. Okay. You're not sure about this change. Listen, you, your life, in order for you to go to the next level, change has to happen. Things cannot always stay the same. All right. Yep. Temperance. Okay. Peace harmony okay spirit is saying you get overwhelmed you get stuck you're not sure what you're doing listen temperance okay this is about peace and harmony okay with this new beginning the ace of inspiration this is something that you manifested it will be successful don't be afraid take the leap of faith okay this is so good so that's what i have for you should i hope this helped and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't say stuff. You know what you're doing. I wish you guys are rich.